Greetings, one and all two universes. In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to see who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions down in the comment section below or with a video response. And who knows, maybe your comment or your video response could be featured in the very next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters. Steven Universe, the Crystal Gym, and Finn the Human, Protector of Ooh. Which of Cartoon Network's golden children will win in a fight to the death? This is universes. Oh yeah, spoiler warning for this guy. <clears throat> there are many half-blood characters in fiction. You have Gohan, who is a half Saiyan, Jin Kazama, who is a half demon thing, and now we come to Steven Universe, who of all things, is a half rock. After a race of alien rocks invaded Earth, plotting to use its resources to expand their population, one of their leaders, known as Pink Diamond, became disgusted with how their plots harmed the planet. She formed a rebellion, faked her own death, and disguised herself as Rose Quartz. Thousands of years into protecting Earth, she fell in love with a human named Greg Universe and gave up her own existence just to have a child with him. This child would be called Steven Universe. He was born with his mother's gemstone and powers, and gained plenty of unique experiences as he took up the job of being one of Earth's defenders. And trust me, we have plenty of rock powers to go through. Well, since Steven is half-human too, I guess we should start off with how his gem side affects that. While at first glance he may look like nothing more than an obese child, Steven has displayed several feats of great physical strength as a result of being half gym. He can lift objects with ease that would normally require the combined help of athletic and muscular humans. He's also pretty fast and can take quite the beating. His gym side has given him several powers as well. Steven is able to leap extreme distances and float. He can change his age or even slightly increase his height though it does put a lot of strain on his body. Then he has his healing bodily fluids, including his spit, tears, and hopefully that's it. Healing tears, huh? Now that's a cute little quirk a certain anime protagonist could get great use out of. But anyways, yes! With these healing powers, Steven can not only heal wounds, but he can repair objects and even bring people back to life. Then finally we come to the full gem powers. He has a shield that he can materialize and even throw, and he even has a protective shield that he can cover himself with like a bubble. He can make it spiky, or even change its shape to extend and grab others. It can even act out on its own like some kind of defensive instinct. Now as mentioned before, Steven has been enhanced physically. He can take a beating from attacks that would kill any normal human, and has gone toe to toe with gems who can withstand large island level explosions. He even tied with Amethyst. But that's nothing compared to what his shield can do. Not only can it defend against that island level explosion I mentioned earlier, but Rose Quartz has shown that the shield is powerful enough to block a combined attack from three diamonds. Just one diamond is enough to, with a single finger, one-shot their own pearl, which should be comparable to our country level pearl of the Crystal Gems, considering they are made of the same material. That's some crazy scaling, but it honestly makes sense since Steven's shield belonged to Rose Quartz, who ended up being a diamond herself. Steven has also shown the ability to keep up with his fellow gems. He can scale to their lightning feats as Garnet was able to casually block a bolt of it, and Pearl has sub-relativistic speeds from being able to pilot a ship at that speed. That's a pretty high bar to set for Finn. Let's see if he can raise it or at least reach it. Use the memories of happy and sad things to land safely behind us, ready to give us a hug. Nobody has had a more adventurous life than Finn Mertens. <laughs> see what I did there? Anyways, when Finn was a baby, he was split up with his father and lost at sea. He ended up lost and wandering the forest on his own, but trouble soon struck when he went boom boom on a leaf and sat in it, getting stuck. Yes, this is his actual backstory. He cried and cried until eventually he was found by a dog couple named Joshua and Margaret who took him in. They had a son of their own with magically stretchy powers named Jake. Finn and Jake grew up together as brothers and friends, but Finn got more from his doggy parents than just a younger brother. You see, Joshua and Margaret were also adventurers. They went on quests, fought demons and monsters, and more. And being raised by this couple gave Finn the desire to become a great adventurer himself. Not just an adventurer though, but a hero to Ooh as well. But as his more commonly used name, Finn the Human, implies, Finn is exactly that, just a human. He doesn't have any special properties or magic powers, but oh boy does he have weapons that do. Finn is a very skilled sword user. He has a golden one, a red one made from demon blood, a white one that he calls the Finn Sword, and a grass sword. Now that grass sword may not sound very deadly, but it manages to cut just as easily as any other sword. Plus it has some interesting capabilities. Finn's grass sword can fuse with his Finn sword, becoming an all-new entity known as Fern, who is just about equal to Finn in every category. 
Though having Fern come out will cost Finn an arm. But that's okay, that's what his robot arm is for. It was made by Princess Bubblegum and it's full of all kinds of fancy gadgets. These gadgets include a drill, a weed whacker, both for cutting into foes, a crab claw, and even a small guitar. Aside from these weapons and gear though, Finn is a very skilled hand-to-hand -hand fighter, battling monsters with his bare fists alone. He's also a talented puzzle solver, able to navigate through a maze temple twice without opening his eyes as that would magically send him back to the beginning, even if he were to just break out of the temple. Being human doesn't limit Finn when it comes to feats either. Finn has dealt with magical forces beyond anything we could imagine, like Flame Princess for example, one of his girlfriends that is literally made of fire. When kissing her she burst into a heat so intense that she was going to melt through the Earth's core and burn the entire planet from the inside out as explained by Princess Bubblegum. Then there's the Ice King, whose magic is strong enough to freeze the entire planet for hundreds of years. The Lich, who is even stronger than that to the point where he thinks of the Ice King as a weak fool. And then Marceline's father, who is stated to be the Lich's equal. And Finn can pound them all. That's a lot of surprisingly consistent planet level stuff for a human. We can also go back to Ice King for some speed feats. He's able to fly to space in seconds at massively hypersonic speeds, and he's superior to Charlie who can walk around the Earth at sub-relativistic speeds. Finn is one incredible human, but can he beat a crystal gem? Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. No man, train up! Like, get ripped! Yeah, I was just kidding. Let's destroy that guy! With another universe's prediction, we got a collaboration today. We got Z Dog S in the house. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Z Dog S here. And we got Simple Star. Hey, guys, it's Simple Star. And today, we're going to be going over and telling you who we think would win between Finn versus Steven Adventure Time versus Steven Universe. Z Dog, start yeah. off with you real quick. Who you going with? Me. Yeah, yeah, Z Dog. Okay, uh, my bad. I'm going to go with Finn. Okay, so it's actually pretty close. It's even really closer than I was expecting. So Steven's main like advantage of this fight would be his shield, because like his shield, it's his most common weapon and it's very durable, being able to turn damage item level explosion from the um, ship. However, I do think Steve, uh, not Steve, I do think Finn with his swords and stuff, like the amount of swords and his, the amount of swords and his speed will be able to uh, uh, count, mm, uh, like, Counter that. Yeah. Simple, what do you think? That's a good one. That's I a good think, that's a good Z Dog. Yeah, I think I think yeah, I think I'm going with Finn on this and here's why. Um they're they like uh, yeah, I'm not Steven, Steven. Steven has like his shields and stuff, but his attack potency isn't on that level, like like, sure, you could say he scales to Amethyst, but what has Amethyst actually done? Like, she's not as impressive as the other... And we can't scale her to the other gems, because they're not... Like, there's a difference in power. Like, for example, Garnet is the strongest, then you have Pearl, and then you got, um, Amethyst. So, if we scale her, if we scale him to her, then that still wouldn't be, like... That, that would not be either. That would be, like, way below... Probably like, um, like pounds, the city or something like that? Yeah, not, but I, now, I, I agree actually, I think it's really close, like, like you said, the shield is really, and his healing factor, but other than that, like, they should be yeah, on the same, they should be on the same, that. yeah, they should be on like the same speed level though, like, because, uh, Steven, at, he shouldn't probably be able to react to lightning like Garnet, and then Finn keeps up with the Ice Wizard if, simple like that's correct right he can keal with someone who can dodge lightning magical lightning yeah, and stuff like that yeah he can block the ice it's actual lightning based attacks and um has done it numerous times has dodged um lightning from his clouds like yeah. it looks like actual lightning yeah we're trying to put a couple pictures on the screen but all together i think we're going with Finn, like, I feel like he can over. He has his overwhelming arsenal, versatility, same kind of equal speed, and I feel like he can just get past that shield. His more more abilities, more agility in a way, more versatility, all that stuff. You know what I mean? It's definitely gonna be a challenge for him to get past the shield, but I do feel he is able to do it with his magic. Also, the thing is, Finn has like a, a lot more experience. Like, yeah, yeah. Since he was a kid, he would start fighting and fighting and fighting. And he just has like more years and more experience than we've seen. On top of that, like, yeah. Recent years. 
of training. Yeah, he hasn't. Yeah, and Finn has enough attack power, like we were saying, to get through Steven's body durability, especially with his versatile weaponry and all that. So I mean, I feel like similar stats in terms of speed. Steven has the shield and his healing factor, but Finn can definitely overwhelm it with his just his swords alone and his versatility with them is incredible. So I think we're all going with Finn all day long. Let us know what you all think down below. Have a blessed day, y'all. Peace. And the results are in. The winner is... Finn the Human. But, but Leo, when All-Star Showdown was still alive, they did this episode and they said Steven would win. Funny you mention that, Vic, because I have a comment from Brandon Gaming VA, the creator of All-Star Showdown, right here. Huh, I stand corrected. Oh man, the human one. Yeah, that's right, I'm nagging about it again, like I've done this whole episode, because I know that I'll still get the, but Steven has powers argument. Now let's have a look at why these powers don't work exactly. The simple answer is, they aren't powerful enough. Most of Steven's abilities have only been able to combat with regular gems, which typically range from large island to country levels of power. Now, Steven's shield could give Finn a little trouble as it's capable of blocking attacks from diamonds that can one-shot these regular country level gems, but there's no reason to assume it could come anywhere close to reaching Finn's planet level feat from surviving Flame Princess's blast and planet level scaling from Ice King, the Lich, and Marceline's father. And while we're busy scaling, Finn is able to equal Steven's massively hypersonic and sub-relativistic speeds from Garnet and Pearl by scaling to Ice King and Charlie. So don't count on Steven trying to win by blitzing Finn with chip damage over time. And we're just getting started. These were only physical stats. Steven may be more versatile with his gem powers and more mobile with his ability to float, but that's about where his advantages end. Finn is able to match and even beat Steven's gem weapon arsenal with his own. He has his swords, his robot arms, and the ability to grow fern. Then Steven would have two Finns to deal with, and we already know he can barely handle one. On top of all that, Finn is way smarter and more strategic. His puzzle solving skills are incredible and blow Steven's mind out of the water, as Steven hasn't even once attended a day of school. Finn knows how to take his opponent's weaknesses and strengths to use against them, like when he made a Cyclops cry to use its healing tears for himself and rip off its head. Healing tears, hmm? Sounds familiar. Who's to say Finn wouldn't use that same trick on Steven? It'd be pretty easy considering how much Steven cries, let's be real here. Simply being a human doesn't matter so much now, does it? Heihachi, Saitama, and Krillin sure don't think so. Even without powers, the winner is Finn the Human. You Billy, get out of here. <laughs> get ready for the next battle. For the first time ever in universes, a fighter returns. But out of this gigantic cast of colorful characters, who will be making their climactic comeback first? Well, it's Tarzan. Mm -hmm.